You look like a shaggy dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's no way to kick off a video. Guys. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> we're going to try to plant some tomatoes today. If we get shaggy here on the ball. <laughs> we got a couple different kinds of tomatoes. We're going to be growing them here in the bucket garden. And uh, we appreciate you joining us for doing that. Um, we've had a lot of good responses. People have been excited to see what we're going to be doing in the bucket garden. And today it's going to be tomatoes. Now, we went to the low star. Are you still playing, Shaggy? <laughs> yeah. We Sorry. went by Lowe's, and uh, I can tell you the the pickings were a little slim when it came to tomato plants. So. They were a little scruffy like me. <laughs> they were a little scruffy, so we've got some shaggy tomatoes. Shaggy's going to help out here. She's going to run the camera, and uh, we're going to see if we can't get the tomatoes planted up in the buckets. But I've uh, got a couple different kinds. We're going to plant, uh, what, what are we going to plant? Uh, one of them's a cherry tomato. One's a cherry tomato. The other is a big beefsteak tomato, I believe. Better boy. Better boy. I think. Uh, all right, we're going to plant red tomatoes. <laughs> we're going to get them in buckets. We're going to have one bucket of small tomatoes and one bucket of big tomatoes. That's, a, that's about as technical as we're going to get with it, guys. So we're going to break these buckets out. We're going to grow some better boy tomatoes. We're going to grow some uh, sweet cherry 100s. And uh, we'll see how they do in the buckets. We'll show you how to cut them down. And uh, get them ready for planting. We'll show you how we layer the plant, layer the soil in, and uh, we're going to put some uh, fertilizer in with them. And uh, we'll show you how the buckets work in terms of drainage and stuff. So, guys, let's get to it. Let's get these round red things planted, and uh, we'll get on with it. So, hang on one second. All righty, guys, we're getting ready to get started on these tomato buckets for today. And uh, what we've done is we've already got some of our wood chips in there. We had these uh, wood chips hauled in and uh, we've had them sitting out here. They've started to break down just a little bit. We're on the back porch here of the workshop. But we've got our buckets up here and uh, we've showed this before but we'll show it again here. We've got uh, three, hole, three holes uh, bored in the bucket here and uh, they're about a quarter inch hole and they're about half inch apart maybe an inch up from the bottom. and. Uh, what we like to do is that holds about an inch of water reservoir in the bottom of the buckets. The wood chips here will act like a wick. They'll bring that water up to the potatoes, but we won't have soil sitting in the water. So, guys, we'll go ahead and we'll show you these tomatoes here. They are in some sorry shape. You can see they came from Lowe's. They were about the last they had, but we were going to make this video, so we got what we could. And... Uh, it doesn't matter. We're going to show you how to bring these guys back from the brink of death. We got a, let's see, a super sweet 100. That's a cherry tomato. And believe it or not, this little scraggly guy here is a better boy tomato. So we're going to go ahead. We'll get those trimmed up. We're going to trim off everything except the very, very tops of them here. You can see we got a sucker top coming off of that branch and then the main top there on the right. We're going to leave both of those tops. We'll trim back the top leaves. We'll get rid of this blight here. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, just keep the top of this one here. You can see the top's in pretty decent shape there. But we'll get those trimmed up. And uh, we'll get our buckets filled up here. And we'll get them ready to plant. And we'll be back in just a minute here. Alrighty guys, what we've done is we've gone ahead and covered some of the wood chips with just about an inch of soil or so. And uh, what we're going to do is we've got our Job's tomato and vegetable. You see that there? But we're going to go ahead and just layer in a little bit. We'll do that in both of our buckets. And uh, we're going to continue doing this kind of a lasagna building. We're going to add a layer of soil and then a layer of fertilizer all the way up to where we get to our planting depth. So 
That way um, the tomato roots will be able to find fertilizer as they go um, and not too much of it at each stage. So um, we're going to have to bury these kind of deep, one deeper than the other. So let me go ahead. We'll get these buckets filled up to a, to a pretty good level and then we'll show you going ahead and getting these tomato plants in the ground. All right, guys, we're going to start out with this uh, hybrid cherry tomato. It's a super sweet 100. As you can see, we've got it trimmed all the way up. And all these little fibers here on the base of it, those will form roots. We'll go ahead and uh, pop that out of its container. It's a little bit, well, not really root bound at all, really. But we are going to have to plant it really good and deep down in here. So we're going to dig us a soft spot here where we can go deep with the plant and we are going to go way 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 down alrighty guys with the, this back in here we don't have too much sticking up we're gonna go ahead and top this bucket pretty good that'll help get it down a little bit deeper there's some more soil on here get myself dirty Knock it off the plant. We want to leave a little bit of room in the top. That way when we water, it can the bucket itself can hold a little bit of water. You don't want to fill it so full that the water just runs off as you're watering. But that'll about do it for that one. That is the cherry tomato. We'll stick its tag right in with it. And uh, guys, we'll set up and uh, get ready to plant this other one for you. Alrighty guys, we should probably take up a fund for the survival of this tomato plant. It's hard to believe this little scraggly thing cut down like this is actually a better boy tomato. But, guys, we're going to see if we can pull off a little minor miracle here. We do got plenty of hairs on the, on the trunk of it there. So, we'll go ahead again, not too root bound. We're going to turn it towards you guys so you can see the top of it. We are going to bury this guy deep. It is going to look like a weed sticking up out of here. But we're going to nestle that thing way down in there. We'll get some extra soil here. By the time we get done, this thing's going to look like a little... little tiny weed popping up out of the top of the center of that bucket. The guys, believe it or not, that is a better boy tomato. <laughs> We're all getting a kick out of how small this thing is. But it is going to grow up into one big beautiful plant. And if you want to contribute to the Save the Tomato Fund, we'll put a... No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this guy ought to be just fine. It's buried good and deep. We've got it in our container garden soil. We've got some good fertilizer. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit on top of each one of these. I'll go ahead and do this one now. We didn't do the other one yet. But we're just going to leave a good sprinkle of fertilizer on the surface. And uh, that will also help deter the fertilizer helps deter any kind of slugs or anything like that. They don't like crawling through it. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll get the fertilizer on this other bucket. We'll get them added to the bucket garden. And that is about going to do it for our tomato planting video. All right, guys. <laughs> Tina can't stop. She's got the giggles. But uh, that's about going to do it for uh, Shaggy here <laughs> and the Shaggy tomato plants. But guys, they should do well in the buckets. We've, we've had a lot of fun with it. But on the other side, that is how you plant a tomato. And they should do really good in there. Despite the fact they're going to start off kind of short. But they're also going to have a heck of a root base underneath them. And we planted them in some good soil. So guys, they'll be, uh, they'll be ready to roll when the time comes. We know a few of our friends have planted tomatoes in buckets. But... Uh, We'll show you how to do it, and uh, we'll do it shaggy style. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. If you like the content here on the channel, we hope you'll subscribe. Down next to the subscribe button is a bell. You ring that bell. That'll tell you whenever Tina's hair is a rotten mess. So, yeah. guys, if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. And uh, we probably uh, laughed away too much of your time already. <laughs> so, guys... We're going to go ahead and get out of here. We hope you have a wonderful day. We'll catch you in the next one.